How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and this is episode 39 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Magma Crucible from Thermal Expansion. The interface of the Magma Crucible is rather simple. Over here is your energy storage bar. This, nobody has any idea what that does. Uh, this is the progress of the item that's getting melted down into liquid. And then here is your internal storage. It holds 10 buckets. Since this is a thermal expansion machine, it's got an easily configurable configuration, so automating this machine is rather simple. If we go ahead and take a look at the recipe, it is two copper, a redstone reception coil, a machine frame, two nether brick, and a bucket, and that's for the magma crucible. Powering the magma crucible is rather easy. It takes MJ power. So for example, I just have a hybrid solar panel with an electrical engine going into the magma crucible. And now this is rather slow. The magma crucible can take a lot more power than that thing's putting out. So if we come over here, you can see that I have a magmatic engine and this, is, this will actually withstand itself so that it'll keep supplying it with lava and it'll come around, come back up here and empower this geothermal generator, which is powering this MFSU. Automating the Magma Crucible is rather easy considering it's a thermal expansion machine and we can adjust where everything goes. So with the default configuration, you're going to throw your input over here. For example, we're going to throw another rack in there. It's going to come over here into the blue slot and it's going to start melting it down. You can see that our internal power storage is full. I just have some magmatic engines down there and that's powering it. And then we can see the progress going over. And then as soon as it melts down, we can see that it's not going to go out here. Instead, we have a pipe that we want it to go over here into this little tank right here. That's going to conclude today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below or send me a private message on YouTube. I read all my comments and all my messages, so I will get to your question. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, a rating would be much appreciated. And subscribe. As I always, have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. On the left is my Q&A special video for my thousand subs. And on the right is my thousand sub setup video. Definitely go check those videos out guys. I'll talk to y'all later.